okay in this video we'll go for partnerships so when or two or more then two persons run a business jointly they are called partners and the deal is known as partnership we may have working and sleeping partners a partner who manage the business is known as working partner and the on who simply invest the money is a sleeping partner so the calculations will be done based on the investment the period and then the profit share so we have here abc as a three partners enter into partnership investing 35000 45000 and 55000 so we have three partners here so we'll make three columns one is partner one is investment and the third column is period how much time they are invested in month basis so we have three partner let's call them a b c investment of partner a is x is equal to 35000 investment of b is 45000 and the z investment is 55000 so period is not given so we assume that they are invested in same period t so partner abc has invested for t periods naturally their ratio of investment share is a is to b is to c is equals to 35 45 55 35 is to 45 is to 55 so if you solve this you will get 7 is to 9 is to 11 so depending upon their investment they have a share in the profit we want a share of a so share of a is 7 divided by 7 plus 9 plus 11 multiplied by total profit is 40,500 so the share of a come out to be 10,500 so you have to just check out what is the period and then you have to calculate investment multiplied by period that will be the ratio of their profit share so actually this term is 35 multiplied by t is to 45 multiplied by t is to 55 multiplied by t next time if the period is different you have to multiply that value if you are interested in the share of b is 9 divided by 7 plus 9 plus 11 is 27 multiplied by 40500 so his share come out to be 13500 now in this problem the period of investment is different in a business lucky invest 35000 for 8 months and manju invest 42000 for 10 months out of total profit 31570 we want to calculate manju's share so we have again three column first is partner second is investment and third is period let a is represents lucky he has invested 35000 for a period of 8 months and b say is manju invested 42000 for a period of 10 months so if you want to calculate share we have to multiply investment and period so a is to b is same as 35 multiplied by 8 is to 42 multiplied by 10 so that ratio come out to be 2 is to 3 2 is to 3 that is 42 multiplied by 10 so answer is 2 is to 3 so what are the profit is there that profit is shared in 2 is to 3 so we can find out the share of manju that is b share equal to 3 by 5 2 plus 3 into 31570 so share come out to be 18942 rupees always look for period in this problem amar started a business investing 70000 ramki join him after 6 month with an amount of 105000 and sagar join them with a rupees of 1.4 lakhs after 6 month so first of all initial investment is done by amar then ramki and then by sagar the amount of profit earned should be distributed in what ratio among Aman, Raki and Sagar respectively three years after the Aman has started the business. Now in this case, the Aman has invested for whole three years. Ranki join you after six months. Means the Ranki will join 3 minus 0.5 that is 30 months. So let we have first column here. Partners, investment and period. So let A represents Amar who has invested 70,000 for 3 years that is 36 month then B represents Ramki who has invested 1 lakh 5,000 and he has joined since 6 month later means period will be 36 minus 6 is equal to 30 let's C represents Sagar is 1 lakh 40,000 
investment. He has joined after another six months. Means 36 minus 12. That is 24. They will share the profit in the same ratio. That is 70 multiplied by 36 is to 105 multiplied by 30 is to 140 multiplied by 24. That ratio come out to be 12 is to 15 is to 16. That is the answer. A, a, B and C enter into partnership with an investment of rupees 40,000, 80,000 and 1 lakh 20,000. At the end of the first year, B withdraws 40,000. At the end of second year, C withdraws 80,000. In what ratio will the profit be shared at the end of 3 years? So this time total period is 3 years. B and C withdraw their profit after 1 year and 2 years. They are very careful about the investment and their period. So actually the B has invested 80,000 but withdraw 40,000. So he still have an investment of 40,000. C withdraws 80,000 but he has invested 1 lakh 1,000. It means that he has still equals to 30,000 investment. So we have partners, we have investment and a period. What we will do is that we will go for period 1 that is first 12 month, then second 12 month and the last 12 month. So they have invested for whole 12 month. A is invested 40,000, B is invested 80,000 and C is invested 1 lakh 20,000. That is the next 12 month. There is no withdrawal from partner A but withdrawal of partner B. So A is continue with investment of 40,000 for another 12 months. B has withdrawn, he has invested 80,000 and he has withdrawn 40,000. It means that his investment is still equal to 40,000 for these 12 months. No money is withdrawn by the partner C. So we will continue with 1,20,000 for this period of 12 months. Now for the last third year, that is next 12 month. No amount is withdrawn by A, so he will continue with the investment of 40,000 for 12 months. 40,000 investment of B still continue for this 12 month. But the C has withdrawn 80,000, so in the last year he has only investment of 40,000 for the current 12 months. So their profit will be shared in the same ratio. So you have to take the multiplication of all three columns with the investment and period. A is to B is to C equals to 40,000, 40,000, 40,000 for 36 month. So we have 40 multiplied by 36 is to 80,000 is multiplied by 12. So we have 80 into 12 and B will continue with 40 for another 12 plus 12 that is 24 months. That is this 24 plus this 2. C share will be 120 for first 24 months and 40,000 for next 12 months. So their ratio come out to be 3 is to 4 is to 16. Shekhar started a business investing 25,000 in 1999. In 2000 he invested an additional amount of 10,000. Then Raju joined him with amount of 35,000 in 2001. Then Shekhar invested other additional amount of 10,000 and Jatin joined them with an amount of 35,000. Tell you the Raju share in the profit of rupees 1,50,000 earn at the end of 3 years. So we'll do the same practice. We'll break up 3 years. So we have partners, then investment and we have a period. Starting year is 1999. So we have a partner A that is Shekhar. Started the business in 19. 99 with investment of 25,000 for a period of 12 months. We are another two partners but they are not joined in 1999. Partner B is Rajiv with no investment in the 1999 and partner C is Jatin. He also has no investment in the 1999. Then in 2000, Shekhar has invested additional 10,000 amount. So his investment become 35,000 for this year that is for another 12 months. Raju joined him with an amount of 35,000. So in 2000 Raju will join the amount of 35,000. We have to make an entry in the Raju column 35,000 for 12 months and during this period there is no investment of Jatin. Now we will go to period of 2001. Shekhar has invested additional 10,000. It means that his investment now become 45,000 for current 12 months. Now there is no investment in the Raju for this war. So it is continue with 35,000 for 12 months. 
but in this year jatin has joined with an amount of 35000 so jatin investment for the last year is 35000 for 12 months so their share will be a is to b is to c if i into 12 plus 35 into 12 plus 45 into 12 is to 5 into 12 plus 35 into 12 is 35 into 24 and last is for jatin is 35 multiplied by 12 so their share will come in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1 and we want to calculate Raju's profit. Raju means B share. So Raju share will be that is B share is two divided by three plus two plus one that is six multiplied by one lakh fifty thousand. That is a profit. So his answer will come as fifty thousand.